Today I'm going to show you how to play both solos from Avenged Sevenfold's Buried Alive. Alright guys, today we have kind of a double feature. We have the main solo in the song, then we have a little, I guess, outro solo, you could say, right at the end, breakdown of the song, and I'm going to be teaching you how to play both of them. So for the sake of not keeping this video too lengthy, I'm going to be playing certain parts only slowly, showing the tabs below without explanation because they are very straightforward and I don't want to be talking the whole time and making the video too long. So that's just a little heads up and for the parts that do require more in-depth explanation I will be doing so. So let's get started with the first part. In this section we are doing a two string sweep on the B and E string mainly and then right at the end of each pattern hitting the G string with the sweep. So we're starting off with 17 on the high E and then 12 and then 13 on the B. Two string sweep we're starting on a down stroke going up stroke 12 then with that same up stroke 13 on the B. And you just repeat that. That's the same picking right hand pattern. Then you hit with your ring finger the G note 14. Then you have the second pattern which is basically shifting the 17 with your pinky moving it to 15. The rest are, of the notes are the same. And then you switch it up, the pattern changes a little bit, you're moving up a little higher up on the fretboard, that's 17, 13, 15. 17, 13 on the high E, and then D string 15. And then you're hitting that uh, G string 14 with your index finger. And then for the next pattern, we're moving a little lower on the fretboard, looks like this. We're basically playing on the high E 15, 10, then moving on the B string 12, and then with our index 12 on the G. You can always pull off the high E notes, but I like to pick them all and give it a bit more attack. From there you basically repeat the patterns until you get back to this one right here, 17, 13, 15. Then you have the following section. Right there we're playing 16, 17, 16, 15 twice. 
Then we're playing 19, 20, 19, 17. Then we're going to do a short little sweep starting on the D string, 19. And then we continue that downstroke onto 17, barring with our index finger, uh, G and B string. Then we pick 21 and bend it. So right there we have another sweeping pattern, very familiar shapes that we learned in the beginning. So basically we're starting off with the <coughs> three string sweep, uh, 17, starting on the 17 high E going to 12, then moving on to 13 and 14. And here we're switching it up by playing 19, 17, so that's 19 bouncing back to 12, 17 back to 12. So you do that twice. And here's where the pattern changes. Take a look. Right there we're bouncing 17, 12 and then 16, 12. Right after that 16 you want to place your index finger barring 12 on the B and E string so that you can make the sweep easier as you're going along. So you're sweeping 12 on the high E, 12 on the B, and then with your middle finger, 13 on the G. Then you sweep back, 16, 12. Okay, for this next part, we are doing pentatonics. A couple of different patterns. Let's take a look at the first one. Right here, we're hammering on 7 to 10 on the D string, 8 to 9 on the G, 8 to 10 on the B, and then 8 to 10 on the high E. And then pick 10, bend it. Then we have the following section. So that's basically starting off again on the D string, then we're playing 13, 14, hammer on, 12, 14, hammer on, 13, 15, hammer on, 11, 12, hammer on, and then with our <coughs> ring finger we are bending 15. And from there we have the last pattern. You hammer on 14, 17 on the G. And from here we're going to start picking. You can hammer on if you want legato, but I like to pick it in this part. That's 15, 16, 17 on the B string. And then 14, 15, 17 on high E. Then move with your pinky over to 19. Bend, release, 17. Then we have the next section. Right there we're picking 20 on the B string, bend it and release, then we're going to do a legato. Then pull off 19, 17, pick 20 on the G, pull off 19, 17. Pick 17, hammer on 19, back to 17.
for this next sweep, which is very crazy and fast, you're going to want to slide from 8 to 12 on the high E, and you want to really hear those notes passing by. So you don't want to slide super quickly, just slowly. Well, relatively slow to the rest of the sweep. From there, you're going to pick 12 again and sweep upwards. So this is the first pattern. Once you do the slide, pick 12, pull off to 8, sweep upwards 10, 9, 10, 12. Then you're going to sweep back downwards. Once you're at that 8, you're going to then hammer on 12, 13, pull off to 8. Let's take a look. That will be the next pattern. So once you're at that 8, you hammer on 10, 13, pull off 8. Then you're going to sweep upwards with your middle finger barring the B, G, and D string. And then with your pinky 12. And then the last pattern looks like this. So for that pattern, what you want to do is slide from that last note 12, slide to 15, and then start sweeping downwards on the D string 14, 13, and then barring with our index finger 12 on the B and E, and then with our ring finger 16 bend. So for the first part of the second solo, we're starting on a 15 bend on the B string. Pick it again, release, then you're going to do legato. That's legato 15, 14, 12 on the B, 15, 14, 12 on the G. From there, you're going to use your ring finger and bar 14 on the D and G string. That's 14 on the D, 14 on the G, back to 14 on the D, and then 12 on the G. Then lastly, 14 on the D slide away. Right here we have the following section starting off with hammer-ons legato. That's hammer-on 12 to 14, 12 to 15, and then 12, 17, 15 on the B. From here you want to bar with your pinky to both 17 on the B and E so that you can make that transition to the next line of the lick easier. Then you have the following notes. That's basically picking 17, 15, 12 on the high E, same on the B, and then 15, 14, 12 on the G. Then you have the next section. That's again the same notes, but of course played uh, faster. Uh, 17, 15, 12 on the high E, 17, 15, 12 on the B string, and then shifting higher up on the fretboard on the high E, 18, 17, 15 and then back to the B string, 17, 15, 12. And for this last section here, we are starting off on the 17 B string and we're alternate picking 17 on the B, 16 on the G, and then with our pinky high E19, ring finger 18. 
Then we have 16, 17, 17, 15 vibrato. Then we have a legato section starting on the G string, pull off 14 to 12 twice, then 14 to 12 on the D, then 15, 14, 12 on the G. And then you, again you repeat the harmony section. And then end it with 17 bend twice. Thank you all so much for watching my video. Be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed it. It did take me some time to finish. If you have any questions regarding this uh, lesson or any other of my videos, please leave them in the comments section below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, those are welcomed as well. Keep on rocking, keep practicing, and I will see you all again next time. Peace out.